Hey YouTube it is. I'm the Black Cat and this is the Guild of Dungeoneering. It's a uh, it's a bit hard to describe. It's I would call it a roguelike dungeon crawling artistic card based fighting game. But uh, I've only played it briefly for about 20 minutes or so, so I thought I might do a video or two on it and just see how it goes. So, let's start a new game. This is the guild of dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a dungeoneer, chasing fame and glory. Yes, and there is a bard that sings quite a bit, so there'll be quite a bit of that. Um, I'm not going to bother reading through this because I don't really feel like reading anything today, but we'll continue on. Now, this is my guild, apparently. Need to hire some dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. And there's a barracks card. And we'll build one there. The one that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn who's fought our father grind. The sorry little chump. <laughs> Uh, it's very different to have something like that in a game. It is very good too, I must say. But yes. I'm gonna, we've got a chump here, so... I'm going to name him after one of my cats, whose name is going to be Skittles. Because my cat Skittles is a bit of a chump, so there we go. You can now expand your guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. Interesting. But first, try going on an adventure. So, let's go exploring. Adventure. Rats. How original. Quest 1. Squeak, squeak. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Okay. Let's enter dungeon with Skittles. Okay, and this is what the game is like. You have cards to play, and you use those cards to build rooms. You get to play a few cards per turn, so they could be enemy cards, they could be room cards, and they could be loot cards. And then you move forward. And now we end up in a battle with Rubber Ducky, apparently. He's used a stupidity card, so I can use a damage card a blocking card, or another blocking card, so I'm going to use a damage card. Now, I might actually just pause this for a moment, because I think the sound effects are a bit too high. I'm going to turn them down, and I'll turn the, death, the bar down a bit. I've got the music on minimum as it is. I do like a bit of music in the game, but even that seems a little bit loud, so I'll leave it like that for now. And just see how it is at the end of the video. I might change it for the next video and turn it off if it's a bit too... Uh, a bit too loud. Um, okay, he's got a... Physical damage, minus one health. I'm going to use a block card then. Ah, so he did damage and he lost health. So I might use a lucky hit there, which should kill him. There we go. Didn't have to use the double damage because he did take a hit from himself there. And then you get some loot sometimes. And they give you various cards. Team make it damage. You know what, that music sounds really loud to me, so I'm just going to turn it off right here and now. Okay. That gives me a physical damage, and it's a fast damage card. That gives me a blocking card. And plus one health per damage block. That's pretty good as well, so I think I'm going to take that. And he gets the loot that was down there. So now we get to play something a bit more. 
So I'm going to play that room card because I want him to go up and over there. And I don't want to play anything else, so that'll be it. It's the only way that my little adventurer can go, so that's it. So I'll place that there. I'll place that there, which also has some sort of mysterious fountain in it. Fountain of knowledge, I think that's a good one. So he's going to go and fight the rat. Okay, but that is one physical damage and it's unblockable. So I may as well just... Uh, Hit him with a lucky hit to get more damage back. Okay, and now if that's successful, I have to discard a card. So I want to block it. Again. Just an unblockable one, so I might as well hit him back. Okay, that will give me a bit of health back. Unlockable again, so we just hit him normally. And unblockable again, so I hit him normally. And we win. Okay, that gives me three cards. That gives me a bit of extra health. That gives me one card, so I think I'll take the one that gives me three cards. Also, I'll equip that item, because I think you can only have so many of them. Okay, I'll put that one over there. I'm not sure what that room is, if it's just a dead-end room or what. I'll put another corridor there. Put the nasty monster up there. Okay, put a massive gem up there. And in that turn as well. Another nasty rat. Okay, and they've got five cards that I can play. Not exactly sure why, I don't understand that much of the game. But, uh. Block three physical damage. One physical damage and block one physical damage. That's pretty good. Again, I need to block that one. Can't block that one, so I'll lucky hit him. Unblockable, so we hit him. Okay, we only need one more. So, we just hit him again. I'm not sure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. Okay, apparently... Um, okay, apparently I can't keep on going in the dungeon, which is a bit unfortunate, so we just have to return to the guild. Okay, I can expand the guild. With what? Okay, Hidden Den. Give me a cat burglar. You tell us another trickster. Training yard gives me a bruiser. Warrior spirit. A mime. Hug in a bottle. Apprentice. Talisman. Bunch of cards. Bunch of cards. Bunch of cards, and I'm going to guess a bunch of cards? Yes! Okay. 
Bruiser or Cat Burglar? I think we get a Bruiser. In that training yard. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the Bruiser. Okay, you can be Gene with a G. Um, do I have enough? Is that my gold there? So I can't build anything else? That is my gold there. Not a very good symbol for gold there, I will say. Should have a coin there or something. But uh, anyway, we shall go exploring one more time. Defeat the Rat King for the second one. And I'll take the Bruiser. Just to see what he's like. Okay, we started down here. Corridor, put some silver coins there, put a gold coin there, and we'll go. Um, hold on to that for the moment. Put that over there. And put a gold pouch in it. And that'll do for now. Okay, Mr. Rat, what do we do? Attack. <laughs> Attack's hood, oi. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, oh dear. Block to magic damage. Okay, I'm going to have to discard a card, but which one? Oh, I don't get to choose which one. Um, attack. Okay, I can't block the damage, but I can get some damage back. Now I need to block damage. Okay. That blocks damage. And I attacked him somehow. Not sure how, but... I'll take it. Okay, I'll take that one because I like the healing from it. Get the coin I laid down there. Um, just put down a gold pouch there. Send him on this direction here. I want him to go straight ahead. Up towards there if I get the card to do it. I'm just going to play these here just to get rid of them. Oh, fighting against a rat man. All right. Okay, I'll play that one. Just another attack. Normal attack. Block to physical. Okay. Traits. Oh. That's how I damaged him before. I've got a trait. Yeah, the last time I played this, I don't think you had these. I played it um, fairly close to when it came out. Again, that killed him. Nice. Yeah, so it's changed a little bit since I've played it. But uh, not enough that it's totally different, so it's still pretty good. Repellers block them, and you also get some health. So that was just slice and shift. I'll take that one. Okay. 
Massive gem there, and a gold pouch there. Massive gem, I'm having that, mate. <laughs> Chuck that back there. Mysterious fountain. That'll do. And he's going to the boss fight against the Rat King. See what we can do. Block to physical. Okay, did two damage for him. One fast attack and draw a card. Okay, I can only block one of that. But he'll take two damage because he takes a damage himself for that. Normal attack, which is fine. He'll only do one damage here and he'll damage himself. That's good. You can only block one damage there, so I'll do two damage and kill him. And I win. Level up. Okay. Now showing off is quite a bore. And certainly not becoming. But what we have here, next in store, will surely have you running. Alright. That mission's done. Got a nice bit of gold. So I'll return to the guild. I now have over a hundred, so and I'll also get a trophy room. Trophy room can go there. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Okay. Okay, various things in here that I'm not going to look at, so close that. I'll expand the guild. No, I won't, actually. I might leave that for the next episode. So I'll leave this one here, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been the Black Hat, and this has been the Guild of Dungeoneering. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if that's what you're into. Until next time, see you later.